So I'm going to show you here one of the best and the most versatile tools um, from Scape for Genially, which is called Quiz. And um, it can be used to create password checks, um, gap fill texts or other quizzes. So um, I'm going to go through three examples and then show how you make it. The first one here is the password check. So what happens if we put in the wrong password? I'll just put something in and OK. I get this little error message. Then I can use this note to put in the real one. Um, so 6GT, and when I do that, I'm now in the website and I can also go to the next task there. Here's another example. So this is uh, like a little quiz. Um, what's the capital? London. London and then here we've got nine and let's say we put something wrong in there. Now I get this um, feedback that it's not all correct and also the boxes have changed color. So the correct ones are green and the red one shows me that this one is wrong, which is really useful if there are lots of questions for the students to know which ones they have to work on. And my third example is kind of a little gap fill. Um, and the special thing here is that you can put both words in both boxes because uh, it says on the picture there are a and an a and we don't know if the, the students are going to say cat first or dog first so either of them will work so if i say cat and dog and check yes that works and i can also do it the other way around so if i put dog and cat cat hopefully i'll also get my check yes if I put something um, wrong in, then I should get a thumbs down. So in this case, I've turned off the feedback. So um, because the order isn't important, so we can't really tell uh, which one is wrong here, maybe. OK, when you look at the code you need, it at first looks quite complicated to make. But uh, once you get your head around it, it's relatively straightforward. So. All you get on the template are these three things, OK, arrow and check, which looks easy enough. So we'll start with that. Um, and you also get a lot of these boxes where you put your answers in. So we've got OK and arrow. So just show you how you would create a little um, exercise here. So OK needs to be grouped with the item or the text you want to appear when they get it right. So let's say uh, we want well done to come up. So this is our OK message. And I don't want them to be able to see OK. Um, so I'm going to make it transparent. And then I group it. It doesn't really matter if they're on top of each other or not. I group them together. OK, if they get it wrong, I want them to see this. I group it with this so I could make this invisible again, but I just group it for now. OK, so this is what I want to come up. And in this case, I'm going to have two questions. So I can take as many as I want up to 20 questions. So it could be a long gap fill with 10, 20 different gaps if you wanted to. And uh, we'll just do um, maybe username and password. So. Uh, I'll just put in username and then I could put down password for the other. Um, quite important, make the text box smaller because if it's over the question box, uh, the students can't put anything in. So always make sure that it doesn't overlap there. OK, now we come to the slightly more complicated bit, namely the formula is hidden in this checkbox. And as you can see, it's already grouped. Don't ungroup it because that will delete the code. So always keep it together. But you can still change the che um, the text there. So I could just change it to OK or whatever uh, without ungrouping it. And I can change the color of the box as well up there. OK, so now let's have a look at the questions. So I need to go on to the link button here and then to the code view. And then suddenly you see there's already a lot in there. You don't need to worry about anything that's at the bottom there. So 
up to this line between these two lines is the part you need to change and the instructions are here after those two uh, forward slashes so it says here enter your answer between the two quotation marks so in this case um, so in the example here it's answer one two and three but i've only got two answers so i'm going to delete answer three and the comma and instead of answer one um, our, our username is going to be student and our password is going to be one two three four to be super safe okay so make sure you don't delete any of the punctuation to so keep the quotation marks and the comma between the questions and the brackets everything needs to stay in place just change the words there then i've got three different options here so first i need to decide is the order of answers important so in the doc and cat example they weren't important either was okay but here obviously i want them to be in the right box because the username need to be at the top and the password at the bottom so i change it to one because the the order is important second one is are the capital letters important mm, well let's do it case sensitive like a real password so i put it in a one if i put a zero then the case wouldn't matter and the third one is do i want it to show the red and green box for correct answers in this case no so i put it on zero uh, because in a normal password uh, it wouldn't tell you either if it's the username or password that's not correct okay so now i've changed this all i just need to save and hopefully if i do the preview now so username should be student and the password should be one two three four i click ok yes i get the well done let's try it if i do something wrong and i get the no message there 